Hi students, today we will discuss about the topic of functions. In this video, let us see about the introduction of functions. Functions is the one of the most important topic because every programming language will be depends upon this function. So, let us see what is the main concept of functions and why we are using functions in a program. Let us see that. So, first we will see one example. Suppose if you want to print your name for 20 number of times, print your name 20 number of times, then what you have to do? In this situation, you are needed to write the same code again and again up to 20 times in the same program. So, you are writing same codes again and again means what? You are wasting your time. The length of program, the length of program will be increasing and more memory space needed to store this program. So, if you are writing again and again the same codes in your program, you are wasting your time and the length of the program will be increasing and it requires more memory space to store that program. So, to avoid these difficulties, you can create one function and that function will print your name. If you want to print your name for 20 times, you just make a call to that function. If you are doing this, what will be happen? Or saving your time and the length of the program will be decreases and it requires less memory space. So, this is the main concept of the function. So, now let us see the definition of function. What is a function? You have to study these four points. First point is functions are also called as subroutines. Subroutines means what? Subroutines means nothing but subprograms. Normally, the large programs is divided into subprograms. That subprograms is called as subroutines. That is also known as functions. Next, functions are the small sections of code that are used to perform a particular task that can be used repeatedly. Here, the small sections of code means what? Set of statements. In our program, set of statements to be repeated many number of times, to be repeated many number of times, we can use functions to easily finish that particular task. Okay. Next point. Functions are basic building blocks of computer programs. Note this point. Basic building blocks. Functions are what? Basic building blocks. Basic building blocks means what? This functions is always enclosed within this curly braces. The statements are present between this curly braces. So, this is said to be a block. This is a basic building block of a function. So, functions are the basic building blocks of computer programs. Next point, a function contains set of codes. Set of code means what? We know that set of codes means what? Set of statements. Set that works on many kinds of inputs like variants, expressions and produces a concrete output. Function works on many kinds of inputs such as what? Variants, expressions. It works on many kinds of inputs. What are the inputs? Variants and expressions. And it produces a concrete output. It works on many kinds of inputs such as variants and expressions and produces a concrete output. So, these four points are very important points. You have to study for your exam. So, this is about functions.